everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today. The fruit trees that I was potting yesterday are going to be going in this area here and that's why I wanted to shoot this video here to kind of show you where they're going to be going. There's going to be some going along this wall here, maybe some over on the other side. There was an old cart trail that went through here like a logging road and we're going to kind of preserve that. It's going to go from what's going to be kind of the driveway and parking area down into the rest of the property. Uh, so we won't be putting them right here, but kind of on either side, I think would be kind of nice. There's a little uh, group of trees right here that I think we might trim to get some more sun in here so the sun can get on the fruit trees. But that's basically where the fruit trees are going to be going. I also wanted to show you just the nice quality of work that the landscape people have been doing. Uh, th these are just stray boulders that, you know, that they've been working with. This is the, the stuff they've actually been doing over here. And I've been really happy with the landscape crew. They, we've had some issues with, you know, they had some personnel issues for a while and they, there were some health Health issues for a while but you can't really fault the company for any of that stuff they I feel like they've really worked um, uh, in a an honest and uh, you, you know a professional way with me so between them and the concrete people I've been fairly pleased with those two contractors pretty much everyone else has been problematic although I do have the new electrician who I think is going to work out reasonably well fingers crossed on that uh, but uh, yeah I, I feel like uh, they've had a lot of attention to detail and they've uh, they've put a lot of um, your effort into their work to make it high quality work. You can see the uh, yard over uh, area over here, this uh, kind of the primary garden bed uh, up in here. It's kind of raised and it's got some stakes around it. Uh, what I've been working on today, it's not down here, I just wanted to show this stuff to you guys, um, has been the shed and just uh, preparing that for having all the foam panels go up on the sides. I got the windows all framed in with those uh, nailer boards and there uh, were some gaps where the uh, cedar boards didn't quite reach you know as you guys remember I was trying to minimize how much scrap I had going up there so uh, I've been filling in all of those little gaps and voids with more of that scrap lumber it's been really advantageous to have that it's just it's decent three-quarter inch board it's ugly it's got some you know glue and stuff on it but it's been really useful it saved me a, a whole bunch of money and I've been putting all those pads on there uh, in anticipation of beginning the foam work Today, even if that stuff was done, I would not be doing foam work. With this kind of wind, it's just really difficult working with giant foam panel. Here's a huge dust cloud coming up on your left as I talk about it. Um, it's really difficult working with the giant panels when you have wind and they're like huge kites and it's just it's really, it's really awkward and difficult. You can't do as good of a job if you're trying to hold things in place and they're blowing away and everything. So uh, I'm trying to do everything I can in uh, anticipation of when this wind finally goes away for a while. Uh, but, you know, once it goes away, hopefully we can get those uh, panels up on that structure, get the roof on, and then we can get going with our solar hot water as soon as the guy gets out of the hospital and he's available to help us with that. That's it. Thanks for watching.